Howdy ho, Arkansas Pilgrim here again uh, with a shop tip. I haven't done one of those in a while. Um, and yeah, I, I kind of got the Voon Child thing going here, which I mean, of course, there's no danger of mistaking us for each other. That's for darn sure. I mean, she's beautiful and I'm uh, uh, not. So anyway, uh, back on the subject. Uh, today, this is a tip for uh, the filter on your shop vac, especially if you have an old one. It's a way of, uh, well, saving money by doing what you can with what you have where you are. All right, I have a rather old shop vac. I mean, I've had this for probably 20 years, and I think it was, uh, and I bought it used way back when. And these, you know, all shop vacs have some sort of filter on them. There's a filter which looks a lot like a, an air cleaner that goes on a car. It's a cylinder, paper, folded filter. And this is so old. These, I'm not even sure they, that Sears even makes these. If you do, you have to special order them. And even then, they're probably 20 bucks a piece at least. And the last time I got one was probably 10 years ago or more. And it wasn't even the right one. I actually made it fit. Um... But, you know, that keeps dust from being sucked in and blown back out the exhaust. Well, uh, and I stole this idea. I didn't come up with it. I saw it on, online someplace, and I would give proper attribution if I remember who it was. But rather than having it on the inside, you can do it on the outside. And this is an, I think, an inch and a quarter um, uh, PVC fitting. It's like a, uh, not like a regular pipe fitting, uh, it's more like a, a wastewater fitting. But, you know, it, the ID here, or the OD here, just matches the ID of the exhaust on the shop back. And what I did, you know, I, I stuck it in there and then I sealed it up with duct tape uh, because otherwise it will suck some air around there. And I also added a, a zip tie. And what you do is you put old pillowcases to use to catch the dust. And I found that it's a good idea to use two of them. What I do is I take I take a took took one and I and I cut it so it's a little bit shorter because if you put two the same size they'll just stick together and then everything else still just basically be caught by the first one. I mean it doubles the filter. But this way bigger piece any smaller pieces that might get forced through here can get caught in the second one and I just nest them together. Once you get the two once you get the two pillowcases nested together like that, where they're where they're all the way up top together, get around there, get it all the way, and you pull it over farther than you think you need to, pinch it on, and then just wrap this top end around so that it can get sealed, and then you use handy dandy. Zip tie. Cool. And it always helps to pull that zip tie tight by getting close to it, and then you you can kind of pry, and it'll pull those last couple of teeth. See how I can do it? Just stick it all the way down to the bottom, and then just pull down like that and it pulls a few more teeth out or well it squeezes it down there you go and there you have nice redneck looking filter uh, I'll go ahead and show you when it turns on it billows out
I think it's time to uh, reduct tape that. What do you think? Sorry folks, I filmed fixing it, but the file was corrupt. So what I did is I went ahead, rather than duct taping that fitting to here, I went ahead and drilled and put a screw in there. Not sure if you can see it, but a screw on two sides holding it in place. And it doesn't leak. Uh, it fits tight enough, it's fine. So now let's see how it works. Uh, you can vote in the comments, or at least uh, comments, say whether or not this is the redneckest thing you've seen me do yet. I think it is. What do you think? God bless y'all. See you next time.